Hi, my name is Ravi Kumar, assistant professor, uh, Department of Mechanical Engineering, HVAT, Bangalore. So uh, today I'm here to explain about the how to solve the square pyramid problems and what are the types of problems are there in the square pyramid. See, first of all, we should know what is a pyramid. See, pyramid, you don't have a uh, uh, two faces, only you have only bottom face and you have an apex, okay? So this bottom face and apex has joined with the help of triangular faces. Okay, so that is called. This is called as a pyramid. Means you have a bottom face and you have a apex. So joining between a bottom face and apex, you have to use a triangular faces. So that is called as a square pyramid. Okay. So we'll see what is a first problem. See first problem in the square pyramid. Yeah, 35 mm sides of a base, 35 mm sides of a base, and 65 mm axis length. 65 mm axis length rest on HP on one of its edge yeah so which condition it is it's a edge condition so of base which is inclined to vp at 30 degree so here the base of the edge is in, you know edge of the base is inclined to vp at 30 degree it's not a axis is inclined to vp at 30 degree draw the projection of pyramid when axis is inclined to hp at 45 degree means it is a second position okay so it is not a without look uh, it is a uh, without locus problem and but the final position is edge is inclined to vp we'll see what is the first step yeah so edge on hp edge on hp is a first condition means edge condition yeah so this is a square okay see and one more thing you have to understand if you're looking from top of an object the square pyramid or any pyramid if you're looking from top of an object so the complete diagonal lines are visible okay if you're looking top of an object complete diagonal lines are visible and it look like a square see the diagonal lines are visible okay so diagonal lines are visible and the naming is uh, as usual a b c d okay and then again uh, the you know resting position towards your right hand side see this is a resting condition okay so this is resting condition so a b c only because only bottom bottom face is available what about the apex apex will take, take it as o and o1 okay o and o1 okay so this is a top view of an object what about the next thing? So next is what you have to draw front view of an object. See, the any pyramid, if you're looking from front of an object, it look like a triangle. See, I take a 65 mm height, then I join. Okay, so if you take any pyramid, it look like a triangle. So the naming is very simple. A is visible, B is invisible, D is visible, C is invisible. That's it. Okay, see, A dash, B dash in bracket. So always I said that, so uh, invisible edges will take it in terms of in the in the bracket okay so that b is in the invisible so we'll take it as b dash so c dash is invisible d dash is visible similarly o1 dash and it is a o dash so this is the first position of square pyramid okay so what is the next position next position is 45 degree to hp means axis of the bay axis of the uh, pyramid is inclined to 45 degree to hp so this is inclined to 45 degree to hp similarly I take the, you know this point and then I'll place okay I'll just rotate it okay now so I'll just rotate so I'll get the 45 degree inclination again the naming same thing same naming will be copied okay so then same naming will be copied what is the next thing next you have to do projection line okay so projection line are done and next step is you have to do the naming okay so naming see uh, one my uh, I'll be given my suggestion you should not draw extra unnecessary line okay you need to draw only where the point is intersecting so you need to cut the line up to there okay so and then do the naming and next is what you have to identify which one is visible in which one is a invisible so similarly if you're looking from top of an object okay top of an object first all outer edges are visible so we'll complete all outer edges with a visible line next which one is a invisible see b and a is a invisible edge so that i have to do with the help of red line red lines are indicate that invisible line next see uh, c to o is visible yeah c to o is visible b to o is visible okay d to o is visible and only this edge is invisible okay R rest of the thing is, is visible okay so this is your second position next is what third edge of the base see this edge is inclined to vp at 30 degree means you have to place see take a 30 degree then you have to place this p and a is on inclined to vp line see i have placed okay then the naming same naming will be copied what is the next you have to draw projection line upward 
okay so projection line this is a uh, third position edge of the base is inclined to be at 30 degrees very very important so what the students will do mistake so they'll take axis and they'll incline to vp 30 degree so that is uh, uh, wrong okay i'll get only up to two position uh, marks and third position they'll re uh, reduce the marks okay so very careful this is the edge of the base is inclined to vp 30 degree so you have to place only edge so next draw projection line upward see if i draw the line so it is intersecting here so you have to do the naming immediately yeah see it is intersecting here you have to do naming immediately next is what so uh, yeah next is what if you're looking from bottom of an object this bottom phase is completely visible so i have drawn all bottom line is visible then after that what is the next outer edge so i have to join outer edge see outer edges are visible which one is a invisible see b to o is a invisible because it is away from the observer so b to o is a invisible so that i have to draw with the help of invisible line okay so this completes the uh, first problem in square pyramid okay so what is the next problem is see see next problem yeah a same problem okay edge condition but edge condition see 35 mm sides of base 60 mm axis length rest on hp on one of its edge so edge condition same okay so but you see the difference in draw previous problem and this problem draw the projection of the pyramid when axis is inclined to hp at 45 degree and vp at 30 degree means axis is inclined to both the plane if axis is inclined to both the plane i already said that it is a locus problem okay please remember yeah first position uh, uh, is same similar to previous problem so i need not i will not uh, expend more time here so i'll just uh, go forward okay so take first and second position is same okay so first and second position is same next third position yeah third position is what axis 30 degree to vp see here you have to find out it's a locus so you have to find out the true length see true length is between where to where o1 to o okay what is apparent length apparent length is between o1 to o okay so this is apparent length okay this is a true length see you have to draw 30 degree vp line okay next you have to take a true length and you have to cut and you know you have to draw line then you need to draw locus line see locus line is drawn after that you have to use the apparent length means o to o so you from this from this point you have to cut an arc on locus line and then you have to draw line okay and you can extend up to xy line you will get the beta angle okay so at this line you have to copy this diagram and you can place here okay see I have placed okay now so what is the next the naming naming will be same as it is okay so what is the next next is what you have to draw projection line upward yeah you can observe here beta angle and you can observe locus okay and you can observe true length so this three is very very important here okay next draw projection line upward draw projection line okay after that so uh, after that see if you're looking from bottom of an object the bottom face is completely visible so i have to draw with the help of visible line next is what outer edges are visible see outer edges are joined with the help of visible line which is the invisible edge which is the invisible edge so the point is away from the observer so that is invisible see this b is a invisible so b to o is a invisible line that's it okay b to o is a invisible so that's it the uh, similar okay similar only thing you have to understand uh, what is the final position so the previous problem final position is what edge of the base is inclined to vp this problem final position is what axis is inclined to vp okay so it is a locus problem okay see next problem. yeah this completes the edge condition so now we'll go for corner condition so corner condition again they given 30 mm uh, sides of base 60 mm axis length rest on hp and one of its corner till now we have done only edge condition now it is a corner condition okay of base such that two base edges containing the corner on which it rests make equal inclination with hp so draw the projection of the pyramid when axis of the pyramid is inclined to hp at 40 degree and vp at 30 45 degree but you have to you should not neglect the word appear if the word appear is present it understood that it is a without locus problem okay we'll see first position corner condition so yeah it's like a rhombus okay corner condition so as i already said in the previous so if you're looking from bottom of an object all diagonal lines are visible okay all diagonal lines are visible so next and this is a top view of square pyramid okay so what is a front view 
so front view again you have to draw projection line upward and then here yeah it's 60 mm length then i have to draw triangle that's it so what is the naming a yeah a dash here and d is visible what it would be is invisible c is visible okay this apex is o and this bottom face is o1 that's it okay the naming is completed what is the next step the next step is 40 degree to hp inclination 40 degree to hp so same take 40 degree and then you incline this triangle to a 40 degree here okay i have inclined the same naming will be copied okay same naming will be copied what is the next step you have to draw projection line downward so projection line is drawn then do the naming okay naming is done next if you're looking from bottom of an object all outer edges are visible so complete all outer edges with the help of visible line finished so next is what if you're looking from bottom of an top of an object point a is invisible means this point is invisible so joining between a to any other point is a invisible line that's it see completed see b to uh, a to b is invisible a to d is invisible and a to o is also invisible but it doesn't look invisible because c to o is visible so the a to o is overlapping with the c to o so it looked like a visible line okay so this is the second position what is the third so third is 45 degree inclined to hp but it's up here up here means it's without locus okay yeah 45 degree then axis is inclined please be, be careful don't incline edge because edge you won't get here because a corner condition so you have to incline only axis okay so axis is inclined okay now so the naming next you have to draw projection line upward so draw projection line upward okay so next is if you're looking from bottom of an object this complete bottom face is visible so you are drawn with the help of visible line next is what i have to find out whether c2o is visible or not yeah c2o is visible it's outer edge then a2o is visible or not yeah a2o is okay uh, a2o is, uh, is visible okay you can see a2o is visible okay now next b2 d2o yeah this is a d d2o is visible but b2o is invisible because it is away from the observer this edge is away from the observer okay so this completes the uh, without locus problem problem number three so what is the next see next problem is its next problem is same okay similar to uh, uh, this thing similar to previous problem but the word you know appear is absent that's it word appear is absent so if the word appear is absent it it understood that it's a without locus problem so how to see without locus yeah so same first and second position is same see same uh, it's a top view okay it's a top view next it's a front view okay now so there is no changes in first and second position compared to previous problem only the final position is very because the word appear is absent in the problem okay l dash to o dash okay so c dash everything is same next you have to incline 40 degree to hp okay you take, take a 40 degree inclination line then you can place okay so placed then do the naming yeah the naming is completed next is what you have to draw projection line downward so projection line is drawn okay next you have to do the naming okay the naming is done what is the next if you're looking from top of an object so the top face is completely uh, sorry uh, outer edges are visible okay outer edges are visible next a dash is invisible so point a is invisible the joining between a to any other point it is a invisible line yeah so this completes second position third position to do third position you have to find out apparent length and true length true length is already known 60 and apparent length is between o1 to o this is apparent length so first draw 30 degree to vp it's a locus 30 degree to vp then take true length okay then draw one line okay then draw locus line okay now then o to o see you have to measure this and from this point you have to cut an arc on a locus line okay so arc is done then you can extend up to x y line then you can find out the beta angle so you can now you can you have to place o to o in the inclination with vp or beta on a beta angle you have to place okay so if you place yeah it is placed okay so now naming so the naming is done what is the next you have to draw projection line upward see draw projection line upward okay see after that if you're looking from bottom of an object this face is completely visible so that's why i have drawn with the help of visible line next you can see c2o is visible yes c2o is visible what about d2o visible yes a2o visible yes what about b2o is invisible because it is away from the observer see 
here it is beta voice invisible so this completes the uh, square pyramid problem okay so here is very square pyramid it doesn't take much time it's a very easier thing okay so but a very uh, common thing is you have to understand whether it is uh, axis is inclined to both the plane or not okay if it is inclined to both the plane it understood that it is a with locus problem if the world appear present it understood that it is a without locus problem okay but edge of the base okay if they give an edge of the base you have to be be careful you because you have solved more problem axis is inclined to vp you will solve only one problem edge of the base is inclined to vp so where you have to concentrate more okay if the edge of the base is given in the problem so you have to place only resting edge on inclination with vp okay thank you